Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on July the 28th. A uh, couple of takeaways on this one, but this first one really is about seeping and soaking. And I think kind of like, um, and I'll just say a sponge in water, and it just very gently absorbs. It's not this push to take over, and that's the presence of our Heavenly Father. Just this gentle approach, allowing Him to soak in, to be fully absorbed into every cell of our body. And you guys, it, please acknowledge He designed our DNA to crave His peace. He gave us that chasm, and yet He gave us the solution. Just like with Jesus, he knew we would be sinners. He knew we would be fallen. He knew we would need a savior and he sent Jesus. But so too with our, the design of the human body, the neurochemistry, the, uh, the, um, the cell receptors, cell blockers, those sorts of things, we were designed to crave his powerful presence and acknowledging that he wants to be in the inner recesses. And then I will say, we talk about wounds here and from um, more of the coaching perspective, where there are walls, when people throw up walls, it tends to be where they have wounds. And our Heavenly Father says, come to me. I know your deep, dark secrets. I know this wormy infested area within you. Reveal it so I can heal it. And again, he could kind of flood right in and take over, but this is a journey of self-awareness and we have this free will and it's an invitation. He invites us to knock, to seek, to ask. He invites us to be still and know. Let my love seep in. So don't hide those things. Reveal it so he can heal it. And I wanted to talk about this phrase. I was thinking about all the lies of the culture that we believe to be true. And one, I think, of one of the biggest lies is he'll never change. She'll never change. I'll never change. And guess what? We're continually changing. We are continually transforming and evolving. So he says, open yourself fully to my transforming presence. So I think that that's a, um, I don't know, I love that invitation to open ourselves. Let this love light, this brilliant light shine on all areas of darkness. And I also like to kind of think of ourselves as a jar of clay and we've got cracks and chips and all sorts of stuff, but we're in the hands of the potter. And when we return this clay to the creator, he can fix it because he knows the way it was initially designed, but it's also an invitation to kind of clean out all the cobwebs webs inside of that jar of clay so we can be fully filled with his light. So those are kind of the things that resonated with me today. Reveal it so he can heal it within ourselves when we catch ourselves throwing up walls with other people, acknowledging or in our relationships with others, if people are throwing up walls, acknowledge that those are areas of insecurity, areas of wounds, maybe areas of shame or pain or trauma. But our Heavenly Father says, come to me. I just want to gently seep in and transform. So the readings for today, the very first one is Psalm chapter 139, verses 1 through 4, and then 23 through 24. O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from, far, uh, from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, in me and lead me in the everlasting way. So I did a little research on this one. And this was a time when apparently David was being accused of something. And the author, they said in the study that they didn't know exactly what David was accused from, accused of. But as he's going in introspectively and he's saying, Heavenly Father, you know me. If there is something that I need to change about me, reveal it. Bring it to my, if, I, if there is anything offensive in me, oh, Heavenly Father, lead me. Let it bubble up. Bring it to my consciousness so that I can receive that everlasting healing. 
and he knows it in our thoughts before the the words are even on our tongue. So Heavenly Father, search me, know me, reveal any of these areas that are in any way offensive to you and encourage me to bring it into the everlasting light for healing. And then the final reading today is 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. There is no fear in love. Dread does not exist. But full-grown, complete, perfect love turns out fear, turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. For fear brings with it the thoughts of punishment. And so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love, is not yet grown into love's complete perfection. And I'm just going to say I really read this one from the place of the ego and the place of the spirit, the brain train of the ego and of the culture filled with fear and doubt and blame and shame and guilt. And then the brain train led by the Holy Spirit, that perfect love, peace and joy. So there will be no fear when we truly get to a place where we have surrendered all fear, all doubt, continually incomplete perfection. You guys, my personal opinion is that will not happen as long as this spirit is in this human form. I don't think we can have that complete, perfect union until we are fully in his powerful presence. And as long as I'm in this human form, I'm going to continue on a journey of transformation, acknowledging when fear creeps in, when doubt creeps in and then kind of surrendering it and fully trusting when we are in this full mode of trust there is no room for fear as these i guess these inconveniences pop up throughout the day and change the course when we can surrender them quickly continually in this communication with our heavenly father come to peace that is a throwaway line i need to come to peace with my circumstance come to peace with whatever but the reality is it's coming into his powerful presence and being transformed by his everlasting love and light. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine. Grab that pipe cleaner. Clean that pathway, acknowledging areas where we're pinching off his powerful presence. Y'all have a super blessed one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.